Hello students this is remote learning initiative undertaken by Shet Vidya Mandir English High School CBSC myself Pritam De Silva your SST teacher and today we are going to deal with standard 7th history chapter 3 the Delhi Sultans part 2 from garrison town to empire the expansion of the Delhi Sultanate students In the early 13th century there was no significant expansion of Delhi beyond heavily fortified town occupied by garrisons the sultans seldom controlled the hinterland of the cities and were dependent upon trade tribute or plunder for supplies hinterland the lands adjacent to a city or port that supply it with goods and services students control on distant garrison town was difficult because of frequent rebellions bad weather and foreign invasions garrison town a fortified settlement with soldiers it was only during the reign of jiyazuddin balban Alauddin Khilji and Muhammad Tughlaq that Delhi saw expansion for the first time the expansion was initiated with the internal frontier forests were cleared in the Ganga Yamuna Dhob and hunter gatherers and pastoralists expelled from their habitats and these lands were given to the peasants in order to promote agriculture regional traders were also promoted external frontiers was the next phase of expansion which started with alauddin khilji in south india and culminated with mohammad tughlaq the armies of delhi sultanate had marched across a large part of the subcontinent till the reign of muhammad tughlaq they defeated rivals seized cities the sultanate collected taxes from the peasantry the masjid student a mosque is called a masjid in arabic literally a place where a muslim prostrates in reverence to allah in a congregational mosque Muslims read their prayers namaz together congregational mosque means all the members come together for prayers members of the congregation choose the most respected learned male as their leader imam for the rituals of prayer he also delivers the sermon khutbah during the friday prayer During prayer Muslims stand facing Mecca in India this is to the west this is called the qibla the delhi sultans built several mosques in cities all over the subcontinent this demonstrated their claims to be protectors of islam and muslims mosque also helped to create the sense of a community of believers who shared a belief system and a code of conduct it was necessary to reinforce this idea of a community because muslims came from a variety of backgrounds now students during this period numerous mosques were built so let's talk about some of the major ones kuwait el islam mosque and minaret built during the last decade of the 12th century this was the congregational mosque of the first city built by the delhi sultans described in the chronicles as delhi ekuna the old city the mosque was enlarged by iltanmish and alauddin khilji the minar was built by two sultans qutbuddin aibak and iltutmish the next one begumpuri mosque 
built in the reign of Muhammad Tughlaq was the main mosque of Jahapana the sanctuary of the world his new capital in Delhi then Maut ki Masjid built in the reign of Sikandar Lodi by his minister and then mosque of Jamali Kamali built in the late 1520s